Yo. Hello, shorty. What are you doing? Nothing. Sitting here watching the game, smoking some bud. Are you all alone? What's up? What's up? What the? <laughs> Who's that? Yo, pick up the phone. What's up? What's up? Yo, Duke, pick up the phone. Yo. What's up? <laughs> What you doing, son? Nothing. Just chilling. Killing. True, true. Wow. Two new champions in a week. So we got a TNA World Heavyweight Champion in Madness and the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Randy Orton. Um I guess what they try I understand why they trying to switch it up so they won't be always suspecting like Cena to win it, so in WWE that's a good move for them to do just to throw people off and stuff like that. Um as for the matches that happened last night, I mean not last night, but um this past Sunday night with the pay-per-view, um the Natalia and AJ Lee one, that was a surprise. I thought um Natalia was actually was gonna get that. Um, Big E was going to retain, it was expected, and the 3 on one hit got matches with Brian and the Wyatts and Punk and the Shield. It was overall a good pay-per-view and a few stuff that they, I know a few matches they added in the last minute like with The Miz and Kofi Kingston with the no DQ match. And it was one more match I can't even remember that I, that I know that they added in the last minute. So overall it was a good pay-per-view. So. So can't complain about that. Um, I didn't see much of Raw because I wasn't into it. I don't know what it was, and I guess like I don't know the ceremony, the matches, or stuff. But um, for I saw like the follow, the closing moments that Daniel Bryan won by disqualification against Randy Orton, and John Cena tried to come in with the save, and Randy Orton ended up getting him too. So. I, I'm not going to watch SmackDown until probably after I'm done with this recording, but um, then again, I'm trying to watch the Bucks game too. But um, anyway, from what it seems like, they might do a triple threat match going toward the Royal Rumble, or it'll be Bryan versus Orton. It's, it looks like it's going to lead to both ways, although John Cena has got a rematch clause, but who knows? It seems like they're, they might go that route, they might not go that route, but... I think there's a way to like to for him to get a rematch and put Daniel Bryan in the mix. Um, I thought Daniel Bryan was gonna be in the Royal Rumble, but um, hey, things have changed, and plus he still got his issues with the Wyatt family. So who knows how that's gonna play out? But anyways, move on to TNA. Um, they only had like four matches for their so-called free pay-per-view, and the surprising firing of Chavo Guerrero because he had case number four and. That will end up being fired. Gunner with the World Championship Opportunity suitcase. Zima Ion, as I expected, with the X Division. And I guess that was kind of thrown up because I thought um, EC3 was going to end up going to get the um, World Heavyweight title shot, but he ended up getting the tag title shot. So it's going to be interesting who he's going to get for his partner since not many people like him. So, and plus his building feud with Sting, but. We all see so Chavo. Well, it was like they didn't do much with it, but then again, you seen with TNA, they're trying to, um, you know, budget their. They trying to, you know, do their budget because they trying to get rid of like high cost players and stuff like that. And you know, they're like AJ Styles is not coming back because he's right now he's taking any booking and stuff like that. So. I wouldn't say this would be the end of TNA or anything like that, but then again, I'm glad they put the belt on Magnus, somebody new, and see what somebody can do right, right carrying the company, so who knows. So uh, hopefully it goes well, and hopefully TNA knows what to do from that point on. So hopefully it works out. But um, this is one of the um, many videos that's going to be out within the next four weeks before the celebrate the fifth anniversary of WFSL so check out WFSL 
or wrestling fans speak out that we believe dot com like all information and stuff like that and it's updated like at least weekly and also check us out on Facebook YouTube and also check us out on MySpace as well but um the next video that I'm gonna do was, was gonna talk about um the questions that I ask people in the WFSO group that's on Facebook about mic skills so we're gonna get to that and until then just hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our YouTube videos and stuff like that and look at our past videos and stuff so until then peace out you ever been to the pen? hell no thanks for having